But there has been, there's some nervousness, I think, among mm -hmm. some communities. Sure. Um, you know, there was the news a few weeks ago or a week ago even that, you know, more of the infrastructure moving to Azure mm -hmm. and that's a priority mm -hmm. right now, it seems. Getting closer to Microsoft, being kind of pulled into the organizational structure more. Not everybody's excited about that in the ecosystem, mm -hmm. I think. What, what would you say to them? Um, I think the some ways the same thing was said when the acquisition happened. Fair. And, you know, back then I said, let us prove it to you. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, I think we've done overall a really good job of proving that, you know, we're going to keep focusing on the developer. Now, there's all kinds of, you know, bigger factors at play of like, data centers and getting access to them and having what we need. And, you know, something like Azure makes sense. We need more compute. We're growing simply too fast. And so there's pieces like that that make good sense. And there's other places where we're able to use resources that also just make sense. And then we're going to choose tools that are not inside the Microsoft ecosystem where we think it gives us, a, you know, an advantage with developers, et cetera. And that continues to remain true. But Hopefully, you know, if we're back together here in a year, you know, everyone says, oh, yeah, it turned out, you know, we were skeptical, but ultimately GitHub continues to prove that folks like myself that have been through these transitions, and there's many, many hubbers that have been through all these transitions, are able to just, you know, continue to, you know, just put great tools in the hands of developers and let them use them and not lose that, you know, open source and developer ethos that's kept us going for nearly 20 years.